Hello children, in the previous class we discussed about electromagnetic induction and the related Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction children. So it was very clear that children, so whenever there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil, uh, induced EMF is produced, I mean induced EMF is produced which causes current so called induced current. But the thing is that here, how to find the direction of induced current which is produced. So, in a today's class, in a today's class only single point which we will be discussing. What is that children? How to find the direction of induced current. Shall I repeat? How to find the direction of induced current. So, in a last class, finally we got this right children. So, EMF is equal to, EMF is equal to minus N into D pi by DT. So, let us write aside. And the question is that what about this minus negative symbol? What is the negative sign? Why it is taken? Why it is included in the formula? Why it is included in the formula? Yes. So, about this only we are going to discuss. Children, in order to find the direction of induced current, direction of induced current, we have two rules. What are the two rules here? What are those here? The first one is Lenz rule. The second one is Faraday. Farad, no, not Faraday, it's a Faraday experiment. Fleming's right hand rule. Children, don't get confused. Sir, already we learned Fleming's rule. Fleming's left hand rule, which we discussed. What is the purpose of Fleming's left hand rule, children? Here, Fleming's left hand rule is used to find the uh, direction of force acting on a current carrying conductor when it has been placed in a magnetic field. So, to find the direction of force acting on that conductor, we will use Fleming's left hand rule. But here I am not saying left hand rule, Fleming's right hand rule. Thank God that fellow has only, sorry to say that, that person has only uh, two hands. Otherwise, there could be a one more third or fourth rule. Okay, no, fine. So, Fleming's left hand rule, Fleming's right hand rule. So, in today's class, we discuss Lenz rule, Fleming's right hand rule. Children, the purpose is same only. What we can say, Lenz rule and the, what we can say, Fleming's right hand rule is same only. But as both are same, why we are learning either of what is enough now, you also make a doubt. Yes, but difference is there, children. Lenz rule is used to find the direction of induced EMF in the coils. But whereas Fleming's right hand rule is used to find the direction of induced current in the linear conductors. Okay, now fine. So, first we discuss about Lenz rule. First we will discuss, children, it's very, very simple. Don't make it complicated. Lenz rule. Lens rule. So, first let us write the statement, then we will try to understand. Okay, so it states that according to Lens rule, the direction which produced it. So, children, here, what is the Lens rule here? The direction of induced current is in such a way that it opposes the cause which produced it. So, opposes, okay, that is the reason this negative symbol is taken here. So, which means what? So, this EMF. Okay, now is opposing the this rate of change of magnetic flux. Let us let us see what is what does it mean actually? What does it mean, children? Here, so first suppose children here is a coil. Let us take here. Here is a coil. Okay, let us take it's a coil. Okay. Okay. Let us try to take it's a coil, right? So here is a magnet. Here is a magnet. Try to understand. So you can take either with the north pole or south pole, children, whatever it may be. Okay, so I repeat once again. So, coil means how? The coil is like this. Okay, don't get confused. So, here is a coil. So, coil is like this. So, we are trying to bring this magnet in this direction. Try to understand. Either we are taking towards the coil or away from the coil. It's not a matter. But the coil is like this, not like this. Coil is like this. Try to understand. Okay, fine. Now, children here. What is happening here? Yes, we are bringing a magnet towards the coil. Obviously, what is happening here? The current is produced. But what is the direction in this coil? Is it a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction? Yes. Look at here. Once again, it is. So, the direction of induced current is in such a way that it opposes the cause which produced it. So, what are the current which is produced in this coil? It is taking its direction such a that it should oppose. Then you make it own. Sir, how current will oppose a magnet? Is, is it like a traffic police? Huh? Hey, North Pole is coming. Hey, just stop, stop. You are coming the wrong way. Come on, come on, stop, stop. No, it's not like that. Then how? A current produced in the coil opposes the bar magnet. Yes, that is the point which we are going to discuss. Children, now imagine this bar magnet is being pushed towards the coil. Then obviously what will happen? 
current is produced chill try to understand current is produced in this current is producing right okay na so as we are moving this coil towards the uh, as we are moving this bar back towards the coil means what the magnetic flux linked with the coil is changing means what here so d pi by dt is a responsible for the current so when there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil then only current is produced okay na? for a while you think that yes it is being brought continuously towards the coil and the current is produced okay na? for a while children just forget of this magnet forget which don't forget let us not concentrate on this movement of the magnet concentrate on this coil only yes now in the coil what is that children current is produced from there let us think okay in the coil current is produced children already we have learnt recall the now i said experiment whenever current is flowing through a coil what will happen there will be a magnetic field around that coil children try to understand means here how many magnetic fields are there the magnetic field around the bar magnet is there and there is a magnetic field around the coil also from this from where this magnetic field is coming around the uh, coil children because in that current is flowing who is responsible for that current change in magnetic flux this bar magnet is responsible try to understand means lenzler says that lenzler says that yes it has to oppose this in order to oppose this children the north pole is being pushed right yes here north pole should be induced north pole should be induced try to understand north pole should, children as the current is flowing in this in this coil so there is a magnetic field around the coil so whenever current is flowing through the coil children so there must there is a magnetic field around this so as there is a magnetic field means what there must be a polarity for the coil there must be a polarity of the coil so as the north pole is being pushed towards the bar magnet towards the coil such that current 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 is flowing in a anti clockwise direction so that in this coil in this phase a north pole is generated north pole is generated so chilla do you think that this north pole will allow this north pole of the bar magnet to come towards no if see very very important bar magnet is coming like this north pole of the bar magnet is coming then immediately in this coil what is happening here current is flowing in a anti clockwise direction and as a current is flowing in anti clockwise direction what is happening here the north pole is north pole is formed this north pole will oppose the north pole which is being pushed towards the coil but children who is the main reason for this north pole current who is the reason for that current change in magnetic flux who is responsible for the change in magnetic flux this bar magnet but now finally what is happening this coil is opposing this north pole only okay na so let us think a bar magnet is coming towards the coil north pole is coming 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 so in that coil current is produced in anti clockwise direction north pole is formed this north pole is saying a hey, north pole don't come it's getting repels then what okay so it is not allowing to come this north pole then the funny thing is you know okay anyhow that coil is not allowing this north pole right then this north pole is going back let us think then immediately if you try to take this north pole away from the coil then immediately what will happen you know children immediately current direction for suppose here here in this case in this case let us say this north pole of the bar magnet is taken away from the coil you are trying to take this away from the coil immediately the current direction will be in clockwise such a that here south pole is generated and so do you think that this south pole will allow this north pole to go no in both way it is opposing when a north pole is being pushed towards the coil the current it is taking the current direction what in a anti clockwise direction so the north pole is formed this north pole is not allowing this north pole okay the north pole is feeling bad okay let me go back it is trying to go back but what is happening the moment this north pole will try to go back immediately the current direction is reversed before it was anti clockwise now it is clockwise whenever in that phase of the coil current is flowing in a clockwise direction south pole is generated now do you think that this south pole will allow this north pole to go away no now it will try to attract so in both way it is opposing in both way it is opposing so in order to overcome this opposing for example it is a, you are being pushed so it is a north pole is opposing this north pole then to overcome this repulsive force children in order to push it we have to do some work yes or no we have to do some work this work only is getting converted into electrical energy electrical 
energy that's what we can say that here lens rule is a consequence of law of conservation of energy law of conservation of what's land energy so here we are doing work which means what here mechanical energy right it is a mechanical energy so during this children during the electromagnetic induction what energy conversion is taking place some students will write magnetic energy to electric energy it's wrong children because here we are the one we are moving a coil but bar magnet means we are doing a work which means what here we are spending a mechanical energy so this mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy this is a conservation of energy that's what we can say lens rule is the law of conservation of energy okay children so i repeat once again in a shortcut let us repeat so as a north pole of the bar magnet we are bringing towards the coil then what is happening the current is flowing in a anti clockwise direction due to that north pole is generated so that it is stopping this north pole when you trying to take this away from the coil what is happening here the current direction is reversed so that south pole is generated which is trying to what we can say opposite motion to go away also so still both cases in both cases it is not allowing to come it is not allowing to go also is it clear so this is about actually lens rule is it clear fine children now we discuss about the flemings 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 right hand rule so flemings right hand rule children so here in a flemings left hand rule we concentrated uh, thumb finger four finger uh, central finger but here in a right hand same thumb finger four finger central finger these three are we are going to concentrate but here children in a flemings left hand rule thumb is our conclusion but here the central finger the central finger will be there you know central finger is a our conclusion look at here children so first so which finger will represent to what uh, first we need to see here so here first four finger four finger so four finger represents magnetic field four finger represents magnetic field and thumb finger thumb so here f for field you can remember like that thumb m is what m for motion of the conductor it is motion of the conductor then the central finger c for central finger c for central finger and c for current what current here induced current induced current direction induced current direction it gives okay children so according to this flemings right hand rule children what it says you know the thumb finger four finger and central finger come on children you have to try it come on say otherwise you won't get that feel come on so try to stretch the three fingers of your right hand such a that three should be mutually perpendicular to each other for example one finger is along x axis another should be in y axis another should be a z axis such a that three are mutually perpendicular to each other then it stays that so such a that we are holding such a that if this four finger is indicating the direction of magnetic field and the thumb finger is indicating the direction of motion of the conductor then the direction in which the central finger is pointing out will give the direction of induced current direction of induced current so look at here we'll take just try to take a two diagram then it will be very easy to us understand so it's a field right yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll try to take field like this once inward once outward outward how we'll take okay let us try first okay so children look at here here how the magnetic field is in children already we know this sign uh, sign convention so whenever we are representing this with into mark which means what field magnetic field is into the plane of the board perpendicular means field is going like this field is going like this okay fine now let us see here is one conductor is there here is a conductor okay now. and this conductor is moved towards the right side along the x axis try to understand along the x axis so children try to understand let us say it is a conductor ab conductor ab actually here it is there but just i'm trying to take this one try to understand so let us highlight this together it is a conductor mm, we're trying to highlight but it's going wrong huh? okay no problem let us see okay it is a conductor okay it's a conductor children now here right hand so 
this finger should be in the direction of field thumb should be in the direction of most of the country in which direction you are moving that okay so field yes field is like this but thumb should be in this direction in this direction the uh, conduct is being then in which direction the uh, what the central finger is indicating upper direction children four finger should be in the direction of field thumb should be in the direction of most of the conduct then for my central finger is showing upper direction so which means what here in this the current is flowing in a upward direction current is flowing in a upward direction let us take one more yes now what does it indicate it indicates that current is flowing away from the board perpendicularly away from the board means it here field is coming towards the camera it is towards you the field is coming like this the field lines are coming okay now here yes okay let us say the conductor a b only a b only by this term still we are moving in this direction only but in this direction the motion of the conductor is there motion this is magnetic field is a magnet so it is a motion right it is a motion children now don't think that sir in both cases we are moving right side only so definitely in both case conduction will be same let us see here let us see here so now field field direction will be like this right towards you now in this case towards you so yes the thumb is showing right side okay it's fine now central finger will be downward direction children here field is going like this conductor is right side the thumb is showing upward direction thumb is showing upward so in this conductor will be upward but here not like this field is coming towards you right yes and the conductor most of the conductor is thumb finger and the center finger is showing downward direction so which means what here in this case the current is flowing downward direction in this case the current is flowing downward direction so children this is how we can find the direction of induced current children here two rules which we have one is what actually lens rule we once one first one is what lens rule what is it state it states that the direction of induced current is in such a way that it opposes the cause which produced it okay second one is what here uh, fleming's right hand rule so this four finger thumb finger central finger of the right hand should be stretched such a that three should be mutually perpendicular each other such a way that if four finger gives the direction of magnetic field thumb finger shows the direction of most of the conductor then the direction in which the central finger is pointing out will be the direction of induced current okay children so this what actually today is a very small session so children the uh, you know the links related to the uh, electromagnetism will be given in the description where we discuss unity unit b and previously we had a discussion about the electromagnetic induction also will be given in the description kindly go through those videos and the next we have uh, i think uh, yeah we have one more uh, uh, class related to the unity of the electromagnetism where we will discuss about the generators and the transformers okay children thank you so much all the very best